Today for Rocket Boom Tech, we're in Central Park and we're doing a field study of sorts with computers and children. Intel just released their new Classmate PC today and some kids are inside using it. So why don't we go and check out what they're doing? I'm here with Tony Salvador, who's one of the designers of this Intel Classmate PC. What are we doing today exactly? This is the uh, convertible Intel-powered Classmate PC that we've launched today. Mm -hmm. It's designed specifically for kids. It's a tablet, uh, so it converts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as well as being a laptop. You mm -hmm. can read, write, and support all the things that kids do with it in school. Intel, since uh, I guess 2005, has been making classroom PCs, correct? Mm -hmm. And how have you been innovating each kind of new phase and new computer? One of the things back in 2005, 2004 was that you know, computers hadn't really caught on in the schools mm -hmm. as much as we would have imagined they would have. Uh, given the way they've caught on in business and homes and all of that other, there was definitely a discrepancy. There still is, in fact. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we think matters is just the, actually the form factor itself. Kids are smaller, they have smaller fingers, they have smaller backpacks, they can't carry on big laptops. Also, they need to be a little bit more rugged. Mm -hmm. right? They need to be able to drop and you know handle, be handled by kids doing things. The, the other thing that they need, uh, and this is sort of a little bit more complicated, is the integration of the software and the hardware so that it becomes a kid's device for schools. And a good example of that is when it's in this mode, for example, you really want to be able to annotate. You want to be able to write um, on the textbook that you're reading. So that if you're reading something, you want to take a note, you can take a note or highlight. You know, the things kids do when they read, not the things you do when you're, you know, you're reading the latest novel. You notice that kids, when they have these computers, they kind of hold on to them like this, mm -hmm. rather than, you know, I guess we put them in our laptop bags or whatever. Why do you think that is? So it has its little handle and it's kind of, it's kind of this little rubbery feel to it, and it doesn't look like moms or dads. It's theirs, and then you know, little kids sit little arms and they'll just hold it. And yeah. sometimes if you talk to them about it, and they, they just <laughs> sort of say, it's, it's mine. It's, it's mine. Computer. I like it. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, kids are a little bit more emotive that way, mm -hmm. so they do it. And actually, that's one of the happier things that we've seen. They yeah. do, you know, and they actually embrace the design in that way. Yeah. Can you walk us through um, the kids using these computers while they're going out through the exhibitions? What did they do with the computers? What exactly were they um, using? What software and things like that? One of the things they did was to use the Lego We Do, right, which connects through a USB to the computer. And then they were able to program the little alligator that they had to open and close its mouth and do things. If you put your finger in its mouth, the alligator closes. And they could actually change the program and make it do it different numbers of times. And they get a basic idea of programming and they get to interact with the Legos when they're doing it. The next thing they did was go into, the, uh, into an area with a bunch of penguins. And they were able to use then the computer in its tablet mode with its little rotatable camera. And they could take pictures, for example, like this. If you just rotate it off kilter a little bit, you can take pictures of the penguin. So, yeah, so the camera's right there, and yeah. then the microphone's there as well. Exactly. And so they could take pictures of their penguins, and then they could highlight different things, like this makes an emperor penguin, and this makes some other kind of penguin. And they could watch them swim and look at all of their trajectories and all that kind of thing, because they could also videotape what they were doing. So how do you see this changing how kids are learning in the future? Wow, good question. Well, you know, when kids are at home, they're fully connected to the internet, to each other totally technology savvy. When they go back to school, they go back in time 20 years. Mm -hmm. What we need to see is for kids to use digital technologies to learn. It gives them uh, more skills, it gives them a better chance to be really good global citizens. They'll be great stewards of the planet and that's what we need to see going forward. Okay, great, thank you. And if you want to learn more about this Classmate PC, you can go to IntelLearningSeries.com. I'm Ellie Roundtree and this has been Rocket Boom Tech.